Greetings and welcome back to SmartwatchTicks.com. I have a ROG bed smartwatch in this box, but before I even show it to you, I have something even more impressive. Banggood sent out this special video to show you guys that they, <laughs> they have literally frozen this brand new watch in an ice container. And they're smashing the heck out of it with... <laughs> Look at that. Now, I don't know if they're going to use this in promo literature or what, but they just are they're so proud of it. They said, Mr. Tix, can you work this into your review? We want everybody to see that this new watch is absolutely amazing. And I totally agree with them. So what have we got inside the box itself? Wow. Is a beautiful presentation. There's a little manual we'll get into, and whoa, there it is. This is the gold one. Sometimes it looks silver. It's really nice. It also is available in black. It is massive. That's what I got to tell you. It's a really nicely built, super long straps for the biggest guys around. Uh, definitely bulky, machine looking, and did I mention IP69 um, certified? And of course, uh, ATM5 waterproof. It's Bluetooth calling cape. Oh, wait a minute. I know you want to buy it already. I keep forgetting to show you that you get 75 days standby time with this watch, watch, which doubles as a smartwatch. Right now, it's in flash sale for about $33. Should be able to uh, meet that price if it's out of flash uh, sale. Uh, check the show notes. We've got the link in there to take you over there. And hopefully I'll have a coupon that you can apply for it to bring the price back down if it's gone up. It is in a very high want open special right now, which is why I'm pushing this review to the top of the list. 1.91 inch IPS, like I say, waterproof, Bluetooth 5.3 we're up to, and on and on. Okay, okay, the full spec, sure. Here you go. Run through them quickly. B-L-E, Bluetooth uh, 5.3, that's Hi-Fi Bluetooth calling with one switch. And that means once you link it to the uh, DeFit app, you can flip it on and off, and it'll automatically put your phone into pairing for phone calls, and it's hi-fi. It really is clean. We'll do an audio test later. I'll show you. Um, Android Full Touch Encounter Encoder plus two keys on the side. you got a round knob on it as well. These are the languages. Information about Bluetooth calling, messages, reject a call right from the watch if you want to. These are all the different notifications and more, of course. Uh, whatever you have on your phone, you can set it up to notify on the watch. All the different sensors, including blood oxygen, 114 plus sports modes that you can set up for this. The applications include everything from music control. There's some games on it, time and date, custom dials. Um, nice custom dials, uh, by the way, too. You have the voice assistant and an SOS emergency feature. 5 ATM, IP69K, Google it, look it up. This is super hardened. It is definitely something you can freeze and smash. Uh, these are sensors in it, um, 320 by 385 pixel. A 520 milliamp hour battery on this thing will give you, what, 75 days of standby time and about um, half a month of actual usage time so you don't need to charge it very often when you do it's about three hours so just set it up once a month every two weeks whatever uh, overnight and charge it up uses a magnetic charging uh, connector i'll show you that in a second and these are the materials and size so as we dig deeper into the box there's a second box in that second box we have a couple of things we have a screwdriver. Why? I don't know. I am guessing that because these appear to be non-removable bands, that you use the screwdriver here in case you need to take them off. That's a possibility. Uh, we've got an interesting kind of little hole there and a, and a line there. I don't know because that's the speaker and I think that's the microphone. It is a thick watch because of that battery, but wow. Inside here then, we've got the charging connector. It's a simple two-pin magnetic couple. you got to get it the right way and then it'll connect and 
Wow, it is strong enough to hold a watch with an over 500 milliamp battery weight in it. Really impressive. I love the bezel on this, or the, the covering on it, the edge. Uh, and look at the screen. It's curved glass and very smooth, so easy to maneuver across it. I think this would be good for construction workers, auto workers, you name it. The user's manual now is called the Mille. M-I-L-L-E, I believe it's French, Mille. We talk about that in a minute. Uh, languages, Manuel's got a bunch of them in here, so uh, you can page through that. We got basic instructions. Okay, it does say speakers over there, and the mic is down there. Wow, all right. Um, charging contacts on the back. These are the different interactions, swipe up, down, left, right. All those things are supported. It's using DuFit as an app. It's gotten better. It's uh, uh, okay. It, it covers everything you need for all of your measurements. You can connect the uh, smartwatch easily by doing this. And this is how the app itself operates. We'll be showing you the app in detail, of course. And... Um, yeah, you can pair it with Google Fit for your exercise tracking if you want to. There's different functions as you page through them for heart rate, stress, last night's sleep time, yep, blood pressure, blood oxygen, and so forth. You can even get your messages right there easily. And your AI voice, which of course, since it has Bluetooth connectivity for audio, you'll be able to hear the response back spoken to you. Stopwatches in it, overall settings. Bluetooth calling introduction now. So it's explaining how you'll be able to do that and what the water, uh, water resistance is. Some tips on water resistance that apply to all watches. And a notice that they really want to listen to the customer. So I really appreciate that a lot of the watch companies now are giving attention to customers and the feedback that you give them. So Rogbed is in that camp as well as a lot of other ones. All right. Let's play with it. Wow, look at the build quality on this one. Now we've got two pill buttons on the side and a round push knob. It says R. I don't know if you can read that, but you can rotate it. We press the top button, press and hold, give it a moment, and it vibrates and pops right into its opening watch face. Now check out the beautiful colors, background, everything on this one. So I'm kind of a short timeout right now. Swipe down, you get all these different things like a do not disturb mode. You've got your brightness control. It's really low right now, but we can crank it way up so it's super bright outside or as soft as that. So a nice broad range of brightness on this one. Love that. We've got... Uh, power savings mode. You've got this one, which is where you can do e-cards that you tie in with the app for communication. You got a nice bright flashlight that toggles off and on right here by swiping down. And then of course your overall settings land you into the display where you've got brightness again, your sleep time from as low as five seconds up to 30 seconds before it will time off after you activate it. Your different watch faces, we saw that one. Here is a French one, I guess, considering the name. Um, that's kind of cool. You can also press and hold. And this is one of my favorites I downloaded from the uh, store on the app for the faces. It's time is, is subdued. If you're after your step count for the day and perhaps your heart rate and your calories burn, this one's got it. It's not focusing so much on time. Sadly, I wish the heart rate was updating real time, but you have to come over here to activate the heart rate. Tap it. Make sure you got the diodes covered on your wrist. See it doesn't like it if it isn't. I'm going to balance it on my finger for these measurements, but remember your normal place is to wear it up on your arm. Tap it again, it'll start. As long as it's sensing that uh, it's picking up your capillaries, it'll give you an instantaneous heart rate, show you your max, your min, and there's the chart for the day. Wow, interesting. Okay, it says I'm 77. Look at that, 50 to 100. It actually starts down at zero. I haven't seen one like that. Tells you what zone you're in right now. So combined with this face with the uh, step count and information, and you slide over here and get your instantaneous heart rate, uh, you can monitor what zone you're in while you're working out. This is blood pressure, same kind of thing. Tap it, it'll start, it'll make a measurement, shows you your high and your low, systolic, diastolic. Obviously, it's way off. 
those are not, uh, well, maybe it's 109 over 68 versus 113 to 70. That's the range of systolic. I haven't seen the data presented like this. It's pretty wild. It'll show you your last seven readings, tell you what's normal, um, and that's it on that one. Come over here, you get blood oxygen. It's using red diode technology and a maximum minimum. And again, your last seven data uh, recordings because uh, th those are instantaneous. Now, stress is measured uh, continuously. Max so far is 59. That's almost 60, guys. Two-thirds stressed out. Minimum is about uh, a quarter. That's that's pretty cool. Come down and look. You got a real-time chart, 0 to 100. It shows average of where you are and where you are throughout the day in terms of percentage of time you're living in stress. So uncle is mostly normal. Well, Mrs. Tix might question that, but <laughs> I'm glad you guys think I'm more more normal than not. Relaxed uh, a little bit of the time. Haven't been too terribly stressed out. So that one's there. Here's last night's sleep information, including the colorful chart, which, of course, in the app, you have a lot more detail. And then uh, weather in Shenzhen, because that's where I've set it up. It's in degrees uh, centigrade. Um, you've, or Celsius, I get corrected on that by you guys. Look at this, sunrise and set, uh, sunset is presented as well, along with a forecast. So if you want robust information and more details than just your readings, you, uh, you know, with heart rate and everything, you got it here. You can set all these different cards up any way you like, and you can include a calculator if you want to in here. And we'll try a little bit of calculation. Nice, bright, white numbers. Easy to see. Percentages are done on this one. It's a really good uh, calculator. And then, of course, you can add more favorites here. Things like your activity, step count, and calories burned, and so forth. You can add um, your phone calling, of course, Bluetooth calling watch, your exercise activities, um, there's your shutter. If you typically use this as a remote shutter for your camera when you're tethered, you could add that. There's the music player. Look at this. All kinds of things. Your alarms, your countdown timers, uh, even games. You know, we have Battlefield uh, 2048 and uh, Floppy on this one. And you can actually make these games one of your scrollable items on here as well. And then scroll back to your home screen, which is, of course, your overall watch face. Now, a couple of others. Here's a stock watch face. Gives you an idea of the edge-to-edge -edge beauty of this watch. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Really, really nice. A couple of others, since we're on watch faces. Here's a city one with a digital time. This is another digital with a nice highlighting on your heart rate. Uh, Good contrast with the blacks on this one. I like this one a lot because you've got analog, you've got digital, you've got all of your stuff shown on here, including power levels and everything. So a lot going on there. So swiping up, we get into messages sent from your watch. And as you've seen, we go this way. Uh, oh, no, we haven't seen this yet. You get into uh, most frequently used apps, settings and calculator we used in games. Remember, we were just playing with all of those. And these are the icons to display them. Here, you get into the scrollable listing of all of this, which is really nice. Two quick ways of getting to your apps or to all of them. Phone calling. Get in here, you turn that on, and it'll present you then with all of your calling information directly on the watch. You have to be Bluetooth tethered to your phone, and it uses the SIM card in your phone to make the call, but you can talk and listen uh, from your, your watch right here. You got heart rate, stress, sleep, blood pressure, blood oxygen. We saw all of that. Your exercises are available from the bottom button or what we just saw is how you can get to it. You've got walking and running and cycling. No GPS in the watch, but it is in the app. As long as you take the phone with you, you can activate an activity from the app and use your watch paired there for things like heart rate and other things. You got all these other um, activities. You saw swimming in there because it's a, definitely a waterproof watch. Lots and lots and lots. And if you want, you can add more from popular or water sports like sailing, water polo, paddle boarding even, kayaking. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Very impressive. Exercise records. What you've done is listed here. 
Here's a 25-minute uh, run for that many steps, calories, heart rate, all this information. You can throw it away, and of course, that'll pair over to your phone, and you'll have your records there too. Weather, messages, we saw that, remote shutter, the music player, relaxation. For stressed, you can say how many minutes you want it to go, and this is going to have you inhale and exhale. And when it gets to the top, it beeps, and it goes back down for your exhale, and it beeped again, and it says inhale. So you can look at it, or you can close your eyes and just key off of the vibration you're feeling from the watch. So that's a nice one. Also tells you the time in case you're, you know, needing to go somewhere, uh, falling asleep. This is a slower uh, rendition to calm you down completely and help you to relax to go to sleep at night. The uh, countdown timers. This is your AI voice. When you're paired to the phone, you can activate your Siri or your Google, depending on, you know, iPhone or uh, Android, uh, and talk and listen through the speaker. And speaker's right there, by the way. See that? Um, right from uh, your arm for the... Uh, your digital assistant. We've got alarm, stopwatch. Uh, ladies, your cycle tracking is in here. Now, this is the best I've ever seen. Look at this. It's telling you where you are today right now. And that's the current date, period, prediction. Okay. When things are going to start, when other things might have an opportunity. Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Great detail. And you can go back and forth here. So you can see that that was the day that you did that particular thing in your cycle. So it's not just a quick glance to see if it's a thumbs up, thumbs down on whatever you're looking to do. It's a very sophisticated uh, calendar built right into your wrist. So if you're planning ahead for something, you can see what that window will look like on that particular date. I hope this technology will move into more and more of the watches because that's really nice. There's the flashlight. Find your phone will make noise. The games you saw, I'm not going to play a lot with them, but I'll just show you that you've got the whole screen that you can play with. And Yeah, good. Game over. Okay. Um, basically, hamsters popping up and stuff. Uh, battleship. This is, of course, shooting. So you've got the games that the kids c can play with as well in our calculator. And then we're back into settings because we never got past display, did we? We were in here looking at the brightness, the sleep, and then I got sidetracked on watch faces. You have menu display, which we've been looking at as a list, but you also have the honeycomb, the grid view. Yep. A parallel view where you see them a little bit smaller up and above. A surface where you move them all around, but they stay in a square. A crescent style. I mean, it just goes on and on. The helm where they rotate in and out and back to list view, which is what we're using to get through everything. And that was in all in display. Then vibration, uh, your mode where you can have it vibrate and ring or just vibrate or have it mute. And, of course, your intensity, soft or strong. Strong is a good, solid, sudden jolt. Soft is a little like that. So I keep it on the soft pretty much for me. Don't want to be shocked too much. Do not disturb mode. Of course, you can automate this as well and set it all up to go through at particular times. It's going to mute your calls and notifications and those kind of things. Low power mode now is going to turn off vibration, raise your wrist to see the time, turn down the brightness. This is great at night. So if you want to, you know, going to bed, tap that, turn it on. Um, and of course, it's in the pull down thing. Remind me, I'll show you that at the very end here or when we get through this. Uh, you can get to it a lot easier. But if you want to, you can get to it from settings. Here's phone again. You can turn phone on here. You can also select media audio to be turned on. And you can uh, do a phone reset in here. When you have it activated and it's paired to your phone and you're all set up, then you'll be able to see and use your phone icon, which we'll go back and take a quick look at that too. System, restart, uh, power off, or completely reset your watch is available for you. And about tells you that the version is the mil or the mille mille i did a pronunciation guide it's french right mille that's how she said it honestly mille anyway uh that's <laughs> that's this watch okay your app download is for dafit 
which is our tethering app, which right now I would say, let's go look at it. But I promised you guys that I would come back here and do two things. Uh, one would go into phone call. Since I turned it on and it's paired and I'm set up for it, you can see, you can look at your recent calls. You can go into dial pad, put in your phone number, whatever you want, and, uh, and call it. And, of course, your contacts are available. That isn't there unless you have it turned on. And the other thing was to get back to the main dial, pull down, and show you you could go into your power savings mode right there, which will stop that twist your wrist to see the time at night if you want to. Are we all caught up? I think so. Let's go to the Duh Fit app. In the Google Play Store, looks like this. Two words, Duh Fit. The icons like that basically has these kind of screens. When you open it, you've set it all up. You have it paired to your watch. You'll land in this opening page. This is where you have these uh, nice squares that show you your daily activity. The number of steps today from midnight to midnight, miles, calories, and time total that you've taken. Go into it and you've got the information. I don't get each individual one by touching on it here, but I do get the summary and um, some weekly activity, last seven days performance, and a little bit of comparison with uh, humanity right there. Sleep time, you notice the graph is completely different here than it was in the watch itself. It's more boxy and rectangular, and this is kind of wavy. When you tap it, get into it, same thing, but a little bit larger. Again, I'm not tapping to see any of the information specifically, but I do get an overall summary of how much time was spent in these categories. I'm not seeing a wake on here either. That should be a category. It is, and maybe since I didn't have any, it's not showing up even on the sleep ratio. Cool. 91 uh, high quality sleep score, and it'll tell you a little bit about that. Then it gets into your heart rate. It's taking that while you're sleeping and gives you an average heart rate, and that's uh, here, and your lowest heart rate here. Uh, you got your last seven days trend, you can see, and it's color-coded by the different phases of sleep that you were in as well, and then comparisons with other people, too. And that's all in sleep. And, of course, you can change the previous days if you want to. Heart rate is instantaneous. Now, if we've got the watch here and we say measure, it vibrates and it turns the watch on and it's going to take a measurement, right? Uh, so it's all set up for that to remotely take measurements of heart rate. And that's just going to leave on that. We got continuous heart rate happening in the background, though. You get that all set up in the app, and you can get an overall continuous heart rate. When you take it off, it usually drops to zero. Here's where we've just been playing with it. Here's your heart rate analysis. I spent all my time light. I didn't really get into any of these others. But throughout the day, if you're wearing it, doing runs, doing hiking, doing hard labor, you can definitely see the different zones so you have an idea of what percentage or total minutes you spent in each of those throughout the day. Or the week. You can look at your week breakdown, month breakdown, and so forth. Tap here. You get into a, a, all of your different days. I can go back to a particular day and look at what my continuous heart rate was that way. Same with the, um, um, what was it, the blood pressure. Oh, well, I'm sorry, that is heart, heart rate there. We're up to blood pressure now. Now, blood pressure is instantaneous. It's not continuous. So we don't have a full chart like that. You see the last seven trends, and you have a measure button. So if you press the measure, the watch will immediately go to blood pressure. And, of course, you got to have it on or be connected, but it will give you a blood pressure reading, systolic, diastolic, remotely, immediately. The same thing for blood oxygen. Now I tap here. I've got my last seven day uh, or seven times it was taken, and I can remotely measure it from here as well. Stress now behaves more like heart rate. You get a continuous chart every half hour or so, it looks like, and you can't see the values by touching or touching and holding, but you do get the overall assessment of what condition you're in and your ratio of the time you spent in these different zones and your last seven trend times. And of course, you can activate it remotely here and measure your stress uh, as a single measurement. Now, GPS exercise. Here's where you can go into all of these things. Now, this is um, interesting because uh, these are using the GPS in your phone. And so it's giving you a breakdown of things that you can do. 
And here are your exercise records, and these are the different activities you've done. Dive deep into there, and you'll get a synopsis of information along with a GPS track against the Google map. Just as an example, without the map, here's a running one I've got for numbers of steps, distance traveled, speed, pace, average heart rate, and the zones that you were in. So you get all of that uh, and more, which is in your total exercise records section. And that's it for all of these uh, elements. Come over here. It's the mill, pronounced English, right? Or mille for uh, French. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. I'm not multilingual. These are the watch faces that are installed, and you can tap on any one of them to bring them up, and it'll pop them right onto the watch for you. Come on. Prove it for me. There we go. Here's a different one. I guess you have to have it activated. That one we've seen. Uh, and here's an analog one. Quick and easy way to show you all of them. And, of course, you have the face gallery uh, that you can get into. And when you do, you can find your watch face of choice amongst a whole bunch of different styles. They're not categorized and they're kind of mixed up. We've got digital and analog and just to give you a sense, a lot of them are thematic around holidays and they still leave them there if you want to. This is a nice overall kind of digital uh, or sorry, analog style of watch. You uh, don't have active buttons on any of these. I haven't found any where you touch it and it'll activate anything. It, some of them we've seen on other watches, but it just goes on and on. There's a ton of watch faces in here, and you saw the one that I pulled off of it is not time-specific. It's more exercise-related, and I thought that was pretty cool that it's highlighting your step count. Okay, we could go on, but there's a bunch. Notifications, this is where you turn on the things you want sent to the watch uh, from your phone, uh, the text messaging. You can set up your alarms and remote shutter. This e-card thing is where you do a QR code for social apps from your mobile phone album. I don't know. I haven't played with it. You guys are into that. You'll know what it is. Your favorite contacts you can add. Others is where you've got your time and units and all of these types of things. The continuous heart rate, you can set it as low as five minutes, not use it at all, or once every 30 minutes in between. Stress monitoring, you can control your phone music from the watch with that switch turned on. Battery savings, of course, your languages and so forth. We've reviewed this app a lot, so we're kind of doing a quick overview. You can set your limits for your heart rate warnings. There's my weather. I usually run in Fahrenheit, so I'm going to switch that and you can change the city to be your location or anywhere you want to. Ladies, this is where you set up the whole physiological cycle information. And again, you saw how robust the uh, data is in the app. Uh, here, it's giving you basically the calendar uh, that looks like this and where your Things that are happening are happening, and you can set it all up and track it on a regular calendar. But on the watch, you have that different display with specific dates mentioned along the way. And that's all of the other stuff. You can upgrade if there's any firmware upgrade. And here's your profile information. You can set your goals, tie it with Google Fit or about the DeFit app. You can even participate in their beta program if you want to, too. And that is the DeFit app. Let's test out this whole speaker thing. How good is it on here? I'm going to come in and grab the music player and add this as one of our uh, cards on here. We're going to go. I've already got some um, YouTube music queued up on the phone and it's set so I could just hit play. And that's coming out of the speaker here. It is super loud. And so. Uh, and so are phone calls. I don't have to scream over myself. Uh, very, very nice watch with all of its deep, deep waterproofing capability. There's the microphone hole. Um, and a super loud speaker, swimmable watch, nice bright display. I can't say enough about this thing. It's a very nice watch. First one I've seen named after, I don't know, a person, is it? Miley? A mi mile? Mile? Or mile in English, I guess. You could change to a different uh, track or different song or Here's whatever you like here. Or an ad. Yes. Ooh, a Metro ad. You know, I might talk about Metro sometime as a, a, a thing, a service that you can use when you get a SIM card that works in an Android watch. Um, 
checking that out. It might be a good deal for you guys. But anyway, I digress. Uh, that's uh, pretty much it for the watch. I, I, I don't know. It's it's really ruggedized. It's a very bright. It's got good contrast in its screen. And yeah, I like it a lot. I think it's great. A super long band on this one. This You could wear this around your ankle for most people, or definitely a large uh, wristed person. It's a rather large face, but not huge. But on a small, thin wrist teenager or lady, it might look a little bulky. But hey, uh, if you're swimming with this thing, you are definitely going to use it and see it. That's for sure. Okay, let's show you that video one last time. This puppy is a very, very well built watch. I I love it. It's just sometimes I want to do that, but it's usually with my tablet or my computer because they're not behaving. Not with my watch because I'm so proud of it. I want to show it off. Anyway, here it is. It is the Mille and uh, Mille, Mille. You can get it from Banggood. They have got it right now on Flash Deal. So if you're watching this, as soon as it's released, it's the best time to buy usually. Check the show notes. Get that link in there. That'll clear you over there and let them know that you saw this video and uh, pick it up if, again if it's gone up in price check and see if I've got a coupon discount for you because they'll often give me a discount through a, a month or two after we do the reviews to help you guys save some money on the watches all right thanks for watching we'll see you again soon